Welcome. Today I'll be showing you how I organize my room. Come on. First, I utilize the space underneath my bed. That's where I like to keep very strange shaped objects like my mic stand, like anything that's super big or bulky, I find it's easier to just shove it under your bed and <laughs> it's usually good. <laughs> The next tip is definitely an important one for me, and that is just to simply have less stuff. The more stuff you have, the more you have to organize, and the more space it's gonna take up. A rule that I have from my room to kind of help me manage the quantity of things that I have is that if it doesn't fit in any of the following things that I'll be talking about in this video, then it doesn't belong in my life. I prefer to have clear surfaces, and whenever I notice things start piling up on surfaces in my room, then I know I need to get rid of some stuff. When you categorize things, it just makes it easier to find them. It also helps you be able to take inventory of that particular category so you don't buy duplicates because that used to happen to me where I would buy something and I didn't realize that I already had it at home only because it was hiding somewhere else that made no sense. For drawer organizers, this is probably one of my most used ones. I have three of these now. I got this in my first haul ever from Tesso, and I, I use this in my beauty drawer. They're really great for smaller items, and it makes it so much easier to see what you have. It's also important to look at the size of the objects that you want to organize so you know what size container to buy. That's how I knew how to buy this one. I also enjoy using long ones for pens or just irregular shaped things. I find them very versatile. All these I got at Dollar Tree. I really don't believe in paying like too much money for drawer organizers unless you want to and you want them to look like super aesthetic. But for me, I'm like, eh. I use baskets a lot in my closet. I like how they're easy to access things. You can just grab it and go. This is just something I use to water my plants. I also like how they can act as decor. It's a great way to organize your space and still make it look aesthetic. So it's a great multitasker. I got this one at Home Goods for $7. I really like the pattern and the handles and it adds more visual interest. I use it for my bags. But yeah, I highly recommend baskets, especially if you do want to organize and still make your space look nice. For plastic boxes, I typically like to keep items in them where I don't want them to get dusty. So I have a box for video equipment, a box for my winter accessories like scarves, hats, gloves. This box down here I use specifically for my blankets when the season changes and it gets warmer, so I'll put them in here. I really like how they're stackable. I think that's the best part about plastic boxes is that they're easy to stack. So if you need that, <laughs> then they're probably great for you too. You don't always need to buy new things. You can just get creative with what you have. This little guy is actually from the lid of a candle and I like the size if it's my lighter and chapstick which is usually the two items I grab and go and put in my pocket. This large thing that I regret buying <laughs> is where I store a lot of my wires for my lighting equipment. I don't actually really love it like that. I bought this for a plant that has now died and I'm just stuck with it because I don't have any plants that are this big. <laughs> so I just use it for the wires and it, it works. It's it's fine, but I think in the future I, I won't buy things that are just so heavy anymore because it's annoying to move around. For papers, I use folders. I got mine from Staples. They're not that expensive. I have a smaller one for more short-term paperwork like receipts. Then I have a larger one for manuals, keepsakes, and things that I don't necessarily want to throw out. Trays are a great way to group a bunch of objects together on a surface while at the same time making it look aesthetic. For wires in my room and with a lot of my equipment, I use Velcro ties. I just like how they can come undone so it's easy for me to access my equipment and then put it back. I think one of the main ways I'm able to keep organized is that I just love how my room looks when it's organized. It really makes me feel really good and I, I seek that feeling out so I go out of my way to kind of organize because I want that feeling. <laughs> it's kind of like when you clean and after you clean you feel so good. It's like that. <laughs> I do truly believe that having an organized space really affects your mental state so that's a big reason why I am totally for organizing <laughs> anything to help 
with anxiety, right? <laughs> but yeah, until next time, I'll see you. Bye. <laughs>